Okay. I've got my two hanger bolts in the end of this. You know, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. The first ones I drilled was cockeyed. They weren't straight in when it would come straight off. So what I did, I moved up a quarter of an inch closer to the top, did me two other holes that were straighter. So you can see where my original holes were. So this is up here. Now, what we have to do, and you can do that on either end if you have problems. These holes are too small for these bolts to fit in. So what you need to do is you need to drill it up to a 7 seconds hole for these nuts. These nuts, hanger, I mean, excuse me, these hanger bolts are number 10 by 24 threads to an inch by 2 inch. So if you want to look at this, I got these at Home Depot and they're called hanger bolts and it says 10 24 by 2 inch. 10 24 x 2 inch. So that's what you need to do. When you get these, it's, the, the thread is a number 10 bolt thread with 24 uh, threads to an inch, 2 inches long. What I do is I take, these have been drilled with 1 16th inch hole. You want to hold your drill loosely. I've got an 8th inch, I mean uh, an 8th inch drill now, and you want to let your drill just kind of follow that hole through. So I just increase that size from a sixteenth to an eighth. And now I don't have a seven thirty seconds inch drill bit that automatically fits in here, so I have to use a chuck. So I'm going to chuck this up. But you get you get the gist of what I'm trying to do. You want to get these holes a little bit bigger than the, than the, than the bolt. So here we go. We go with that one. There we go with that one. So. Now, if you watch this, this should fit right on the end. Voila! A little tight going on. That's not bad. Fits right on there nice and snug. Take your wing nuts. You screw it on. And you are uh, We're done with one end. Again, this one is 18 inches long on the inside. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come, got my other board marked. I'm going to stand it up, drill holes on the other end, do the same thing. I'm going to put the wing net nuts on the hanger bolts, screw those in the holes. When I come back, we'll, be, uh, we'll have the other end completed. Okay, talk to you then. Okay, what? Well, I finished, I finished doing the, the mold here. Here's my 16 inch ID uh, length wise, excuse me, 18 inch length uh, soap mold. But I was sitting here thinking about, I, I might need to adjust this up and down. So I took a piece of this uh, one by four and I cut it two and three quarters inch long. And that's the depth of the mold. So this piece, if you come up here and look, will fit down inside there just about perfectly and I had some uh, a one by twos which is sort of a one by four it's, it's half a one uh, on hand so I cut a couple of those two and three quarters of an inch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail these together and make another little C channel see down in here again where then I can these will be all together then I can slide this back and forth and clamp it to the side and I can have literally an adjustable mold of any length that I want. So, just wanted to show you that, that two and three quarter inch long piece of one before that we have. And then I just had some scrap uh, one by twos laying around here and I cut them two and three quarter inches long and I'm going to make a little C uh, piece just like I did here except for I'm going to be sitting these on the inside of the one by four like that. So, I'm going to nail those together and then uh, We'll finish up. I'll show you inside uh, the, the results of, of what I have. Okay. So.
talk to you in a little bit longer. I finished uh, putting together the 18 inch soap mold. Here's my little uh, 10 incher that I had originally made and now here is the uh, 18 incher. Turned out pretty good. I did use some uh, a popular wood. It's a little better uh, grade of wood on this one. I'm probably going to uh, throw a little sanding on it and uh, maybe put a coat of polyurethane at least on the outside. I haven't decided yet. But here's one. This is a uh, freezer paper plastic coated that I use. It's made by Reynolds and I made it where this actual roll will fit exactly in here this way. So I'll just run me about a 10 inch piece down now on both sides and it's ready to go. Then I'll have to run a long length, a little small strip lengthwise down the mold. But here's my little adjustable mold piece. As you see that slides down in here. I can make it put it any place I want. So now I have a really an adjustable mold. I'm not sure if that would hold with the pattern. So right now what I'm using is I use this to clamp it on the side. But you can get a little cheap C-clamp at, uh, at Lowe's or Home Depot, either one, and, uh, and fix that up. I've, uh, I've got a list here of the parts that I used, and you can't see this on the video. It's got the number of wood pieces and the tools I used. I'm going to put a link to that where I'm going to have this video, so there will be a, a link where you can click on it and you can uh, download that list if you need it. Uh, if not, what I'll do, if I can edit it in and just leave that at the end of the video, I'll do that. So if I can get this on the end of the video, then there will not be a link. Okay, that's it. This is uh, How to Make a uh, Soap Mold by uh, Keith Brown, Camera Girl Elizabeth Brown, and Max the Brew Dog didn't make it. And those salute to homemade beer. Thanks for watching and enjoy making soap. Bye now.